Basil Itarp wanted to become a doctor, but when his father died and there wasn't money for school fees, he got a job at a bakery. Later, he used that money to study and train as a nurse. Seeing patients when their bandages were removed after cataract surgery, seeing their joy after regaining their sight, inspired him to become an eye nurse. When you do something and that put a smile on someone's face and sometimes with tears and yeah, I can truly feel something in me, like it's, it's really, really something. Success stories help with the hardest part of the job, convincing villagers of the benefits of modern eye care. In a country where almost a quarter of the population has diabetes, eye nurses must also be educators explaining insulin, lifestyle and diet. The key is to win their trust. When you happen to tell someone, oh, you have diabetes, then he would say, what? What is diabetes? I can't believe that. Someone must have done something to me. It is always likely to be that that patient will refuse treatment at the first place. He wouldn't like to come to appointments. He wouldn't like to hear that you were telling him that he has got diabetes. And the first place he would like to go, he would go to the witch doctor. Some of the, some of the saddest part is like diabetes retinopathy. And um, especially when it involves young people. I mean, I just find it difficult to place myself in this zoo. Like, wow, I've seen light, but now I will be in total darkness until death. And you could hear people singing and laughing and shouting. And you can just have that picture there, but you won't have the chance to see that again. Basil is very grateful to supporters of the Fred Hollis Foundation, who make a huge difference to many lives. I, I only wish these people who give money would have the chance one day to come and see how people, you know, when someone who has gone blind of cataract, for example, five years, and after the cataract surgery, once they peel off, you see the real meaning of a family reunion. <laughs>